So hi again guys, welcome back to my channel. You are watching All About Jen. My name is Jen and for today's video we are going to talk about the cost of living in New Zealand. So as I promised guys, sa uh, poll na pinost ko yesterday, I will be posting um, the um, the most voted category that I um, posted yesterday and that one is the cost of living in New Zealand and there's another one which tied to the first um, category and the second one is the um it's our cat guys if you can hear her um so the second category is paano mag apply ng um partnership visa dito sa New Zealand and I will um get to that video on my next um uploaded video so yeah but for now we're gonna talk about the cost of living in New Zealand <laughs> So I came from the Philippines and the cost... <laughs> Did you see my cat? <laughs> so... Hi guys! Good afternoon sa lahat. Welcome back again to my channel. You are watching all about Jen and my name is Jen. So welcome to my channel sa mga bago kong subscribers. Sa mga hindi ko subscribers, sana mag-subscribe kayo guys. And for today's video, we are going to talk about the cost of living in New Zealand. So. Obviously, in my um, YouTube community, I posted a poll. Um, so I asked you, you guys, to vote whether. So the first one is the cost of living in New Zealand. Um, the second one is the um, kung paano magapply ng partnership visa sa New Zealand. Third one is my top 10 favorite places in New Zealand, and the last one is. Um, magkano yung budget namin sa Japan vacation namin. And yung dalawang nagtay is the cost of living in New Zealand and paano mag-apply ng permanent, uh, hindi permanent, um, partnership visa sa New Zealand. So, so, kakain lang muna ako guys. Snack. So, may snack tayo for today. Meron tayong nutri grain. So, obviously, you're gonna eat this with milk. But since, mas gusto ko siyang kainin ng ganito. So, yeah. Ito yung snack natin today. Ang nakapag-post na ako ng video na tulad nito before, cost of living in New Zealand, but it was only about the grocery um, and what uh, the other things that we bought. Yeah. So basically, it's not a cost of living kasi isa lang yung, ano niya, isa lang yung topic na natakal natin doon. So for, uh, for today's cost of living video, we are going to talk about the food, um, um, the, the food budget, um, the cost of like having a vehicle in New Zealand, some topic like um, house rents, utility bills, and yung mga necessities natin. So yeah, let's start. So I came from the Philippines, which the cost of living is very cheap compared to um, cost of living of the first world countries such as USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and Western European countries. So these countries tend to have um, stable currencies and robust financial markets which makes them very attractive to um, investors all throughout the country, uh, all throughout the world. So compared to third world countries which have um, high poverty rates, you know, economic instability and lack of basic human resources and stuff. So, uh, for example, my country, Philippines, so we have a very high poverty rate. So, we are going to talk about the food. So, here in New Zealand, every time we go to the groceries, like for a week's budget, it's always like minimum. The minimum budget for our weekly grocery is around. 160 New Zealand dollars. So let's convert it to Philippine peso. So for our weekly budget here in New Zealand, um, it's around 160 New Zealand dollars. That's the minimum. Sometimes we go up and we never go down. We never go lower than 160 New Zealand dollars. So if you convert that to um, Philippine peso, that will be like 5,000 pesos. Depends on the conversion rate. So yeah, we normally spend more than 160 New Zealand dollars for the food. So let's say for example, you are going to buy a 5 kg 
of rice so um, there are some days that it's like on sale and stuff like that but the regular price is around 14 New Zealand dollars so um, that's That's around 476 pesos if you convert it to 34, uh, 1 to 34, but depends on the conversion rate really. And and sometimes we love to eat out, you know, eating at the restaurants, going out um, whenever we can. So we normally spend around 90 New Zealand dollars up yung budget namin sa food whenever we go out, like just for the food, okay? Uh, not including the petrol and stuff. And we love to buy some fruits, some, you know, vegetables and meat. Um, but there's a lot of choices in the Philippines. I really love the vegetables in there because we really love to eat, you know, gulai. And we don't have, um, like, the basic ingredients for tinolang manok, you know, yung mga dahon sa sili, malunggay, um, minsan meron tayong sayote dito, but minsan-minsan lang. Um, ano pa ba? Um, yeah, yung mga gulay dito is, you know, mga celery, broccoli, cauliflower, meron silang mga squash, pumpkins, potatoes, um, capsicum, ano pa ba? cucumber, yung mga ganun. Pero sa atin kasi sobrang daming variety sa Pilipinas, uh, which I really miss. Sobrang na-miss ko talaga yung mga ganun yung nagpapakbit ka. Pero dito kasi mahirap kasi hindi kumpleto yung ingredients mo. But, yeah, that's the cost of, um, that's the budget of our weekly grocery. And sometimes we love to go out, guys. We love to eat out, to eat out and normally we spend around 90 to I don't know more than a hundred yeah hundred New Zealand dollars for food kasi nga dalawa kami and we yeah we love to order heaps and heaps <laughs> but there are some naman na mura meron tayong McDonald's meron tayong KFC dito meron silang mga but don't expect na may rice tayo sa McDonald's guys ha or even sa KFC kasi wala silang rice dito so, meron lang sila is yung chips, which is yung French fries natin sa Pilipinas. That's what they offer. And, um, do you want me to film a video about the menu on like their KFC and McDonald's here? So, if you want me to do that kind of video, guys, please comment it down below and I will definitely do it for you. So, I have my cat here. Hello, everyone. Hello guys. Hi guys. My name is Missimo. So yeah. Um yun yung budget namin for our weekly grocery and eating out. So kapag nag grocery kami, we tend to eat out as well. So hindi lang yung grocery grocery na budget namin yung na uh, nagagastos namin kapag nag grocery kami. So obviously kumakain din kami, yung ganun. and then meron pa tayong mga petrol, yung sa petrol natin, itatakal natin yan later on. So, yung cost of living, guys, depends where you are, really. Kasi, if you are in Auckland, which the cost of living is really high, kasi, say, for example, the, the rent, the house rent. So, we're gonna talk about the house rent. So, house rent, pinakamurang rent sa Auckland is around 300 New Zealand dollars yata. And that's just a small, I think that's just a small like room. You only get a room for that price if we're like in Auckland City. So if you're a student, most of them paid around 300 to 600 New Zealand dollars a week. Okay. That's a week guys, huh? not, not a month. So if you live in um, a countryside, which I do, so, dito sa amin, since nasa farm kami, yung rent namin sa bahay is around 200 New Zealand dollars lang, which is really, really cheap. There's two of us working, and then, um, there's two of us working, we have the whole house, we have like three bedroom house, we have a living room, we have a dining room and kitchen, we have 
toilet, garage, and a big lawn. So we have this space in here, guys, which I really, really, really love. Kasi kahit na malayo kami sa city, we can just drive to the nearest, you know, city. And kasi, I don't know, guys, but city girl din ako, guys. I love going to the city, but I want to live to the countryside, you know, when you, I want to have like big lawns, but you know, obviously this place, this house is not ours. We are just renting here and I will not, I will not talk about, you know, buying a house because I have no idea about buying a house here, guys. Yun nga yung rent natin is around, uh, if you're in the city, it's around 300 to 600 New Zealand dollars a week. Pag nasa farm ka, mura lang yung, yung rent mo, guys, kasi nga, um, nasa farm ka, nasa countryside ka, medyo malayo ka sa syudad, but there are heaps of, like, grocery shops if gusto mong mag-shopping and stuff like that, and less yung traffic, traffic guys, kapag nasa countryside ka. About sa schooling, I basically have no idea at all, guys, kasi wala pa kaming anak, and meron ako mga friends na may mga anak, so I'll just give you an idea about how much, basically, I think, but yeah, if you are going to send your kid to um, a public school, everything is free, but you're gonna have to like give like, um, what do you call it? Like um, voluntary stuff, like yeah, you, parang donation and stuff like that, but that's an optional thing. But you have to pay for the books, um, of course the uniform, and it, it's not cheap as well, but yeah, it's, it's um, free for your kids from primary to high school uh, yeah high school i think guys i'm not really sure about the schooling because i don't have a child and i haven't had experience to study here so if i'm wrong about the schooling guys please just comment it down below so that we can know the other people who want to know about the schooling so next one um, we're going to talk about the um, utility bills. So yung utility bill namin guys, sobrang mahal ng utility bill namin. And I know why na sobrang mahal niya. Kasi nga, meron kaming um, old na washing machine and old na refrigerator. So we are going to replace that soon. But as of the moment, we are not using the the ref kasi sobrang, sobrang old na niya guys. And krabi yung ano niya, yung kuha ng kuryente. So sa aming um, dito guys, kasi nga, di ba, lumipat kami ng bahay, lumipat kami ng lugar. And when you move your house, you're gonna have to find a um, power company that will supply you. So, ayun, and I paid around $150 for 19 days of use. Which is not, not cheap at all, guys. Kasi, I asked my... Um, I asked my boss and they only pay paid like around ninety dollars a month, okay? So yeah. And he told us that it's definitely because of your old furnitures. And that's the washing machine and the refrigerator. Um I have a friend, they were in in Burkargill and down there is really really cold, so they're gonna have to use their um heat pump most of the time because they have mga babies. And yung um if I'm not mistaken, Malin told me that they paid around 300 a month. So, sobrang expensive guys, ba? And during winter lang yun guys, kasi yun nga, obviously palagi mong ginagamit yung heat pump niyo. Pero dito sa amin, we only have log burner, which I prefer compared to the heat pump. Kasi iba yung um, init na binibigay niya sa like, compared sa um, heat pump. Yung binubuga ng heat pump, yun bang parang nakaka dry na parang ano ka hindi ka makahinga and stuff like that I don't know if you know what I mean if you get what I mean guys and for the water guys, yung water namin dito is free wala kaming binabayarang water kasi nga nasa farm tayo and may sarili, sarili tayong um, sources ng ating tubig so hindi tayo nagbabayad ng tubig and definitely potable yung tubig na galing sa gripo which is really good next one is purchasing items so if you are a gadget lover if you wanna have the latest, you know, phone, the latest, what else, um, TV or laptop and stuff like that. 
there are a lot of shops that you can get that from here um, so what I do is so I have the latest iPhone um, I have the iPhone XS at uh, 10s max um, but this one because I, I only get I always get the new phone because I'm on a plan so yung plan ko allows me to exchange my phone yearly so I paid um around I forgot so my rent tayong basic na binabayaran plus the plan uh, the the load the data that you get from it so kasi palagi akong gumagamit ng data and so nakakapagbayad ako ng 200 plus a month for the uh, for the phone about the clothes sobrang dami mo ring mahahanap ng mga bargain ng mga clothes meron tayong um, cotton on um, JJ's sa Auckland yata merong H&M but I normally shop online kapag nag ano kapag nag shop ako in store nahihirapan ako mamili kasi I don't know why I don't like fitting the the dress or the the clothes but you can get cheap clothes from cotton on kasi palagi silang nagsi-sale pag bumili ka ng summer clothes you have to buy it during the winter time kasi doon maraming sale and if and like vice versa if you wanted to buy like cheap winter clothes then buy it during summer time kasi yeah doon nga sobrang mura nun. so for our next topic um the vehicle Tinat uh, meron tayong tinatawag na fixed cost. Ito yung cost na hindi nagbabago whether ginagamit mo yung car mo or hindi mo ginagamit. Whether yung car is nakapark lang sa garage or not. And meron tayong um, flexible cost which yung um, consumable cost natin like tires, fuels, um, repairs and maintenance, yung mga ganun. So those are the, the cost na iisipin mo if you own a car here in New Zealand. So let's say for example our car so we have um meron kaming um uh, Ford Falcon it, so yung cost ng um maintenance niya yearly let's say around 500 New Zealand dollars um yung radio niya yung radio guys is basically the licensing dito yung car licensing mo radio yung tawag namin dito and um Mura lang siya yung sa amin is around 109 yung yeah last check ko sa site 109 yung licensing niya and then meron tayong mga insurance um, of course optional naman ito but it's very advisable guys especially sa atin na mga foreign dito mga Pinoy na ano na hindi sanay sa way ng um, way na, anong tawag doon ng traffic nila dito guys, kasi iba sa atin diba, nasa ano tayo, nasa kanan tayo nag-drive, dito nasa kaliwa, and meron sila dito yung tinatawag na roundabout, which is very confusing if you are new dito sa New Zealand kasi, yun nga palagi tayong nasa right so yung tinitingnan natin is yung hindi ano, yung uh, so yung, yung tinitingnan natin is dito tayo dadaan sa right, so like, roundabout is like this, like um, circle siya, so uh, let's say meron siyang uh, three, uh, four exit. So di dito yung first exit, second exit, third exit, and fourth exit. So dito tayo, and then meron car dito sa second exit. Dito naman meron car sa third exit, and fourth exit meron car din. So obviously, since nasa New Zealand ka, di ba, nasa left side ka, so yung titingnan mo pala palagi, palagi is yung nasa right side mo. And meron kasing mga instances guys na yung yung mga Pinoy is nag drive pa ano yung pasugat anong tawag doon sa paharap ng ano ng ibang mga vehicle. So yeah, yun lang guys, careful lang tayo kasi there are a lot of instances and accidents that has happened here. Recently meron tayong nabali nabalita na dalawang Pinoy na namatay kasi nasagasaan sila ng train while while riding their car. So it's a very sad news kasi bago lang sila guys, one week pa lang sila dito and dangyari ngayon. They are they are on their way to their um to their job. I think apat sila sa car tapos they uh, tried to not tried uh, yeah, they tried to cross the train, uh, not the train. They tried to cross the rail pero hindi nila nakita yung 
train but I'm not gonna you know talk about how it happened and masagat pa dun guys is yun nga bago lang sila dito and buntis yung mga asawa nila so sobrang sad for them and yung other passengers nasa hospital pa oh my god that's really bad kaya nga sobrang dapat mag careful talaga tayo guys kasi hindi obviously hindi tayo sanay sa sa uh, driving thing nila dito kung ano yung uh, driving rules nila dito so dapat magbasa-basa so let's say for example you have your you have a small car so let's base it in a small car guys so let's say your yearly cost sa small car mo is around 4500 and this um so this equates to 12 uh, 12 dollars and 30 cents a day so this is just an estimate guys ha this is based on a small car with which runs like Let's say, for example, you have a small car and it runs 14,000 kilometers a year. So, roughly, yung estimate natin dyan is um, around 4,500 yung cost mo. That's, this is for the fixed, guys, ha? The fixed cost. Um, so, that was like 12.30 a day. And you add mo yun sa flexible cost mo. Ang cost ng fuel known is around 2,400 New Zealand dollars, but estimate lang yun guys, ha? pwede siyang tumaas kasi depende sa price ng fuel natin. Sa tires naman, let's say around 266 kasi yun yung price ng tires namin. But nagde-depend pa rin yan sa brand ng tires nyo guys ha. So let's just say it's around 266 New Zealand dollars. Um, and you will not gonna change your tires naman yearly kasi if hindi nyo naman ginagamit masyado yung car nyo, you may change it like every three years and stuff and so so yeah and plus the um repair and maintenance let's say 550 um so all in all if you total those up guys it will give you 20 uh, 21 new zealand dollars per day so add mo yung 12 30 natin kanina so it gives you 33.30 new zealand dollars per day yung cost yung estimate cost natin sa um, small car owner dito sa New Zealand. So, I hope that I give you a lot of ideas about the cost of living, guys. So, I hope that I explained it clearly, guys. If not, I'm so sorry. Um, there are some topics talaga that I don't know. Kasi nga, like the, the schooling, hindi ko alam kasi wala nga kaming anak and we haven't experienced that here. But yeah, other than that, I hope na naintindihan nyo yung explanation ko and sobrang salamat sa mga nag-suggest, sa mga nag-vote, and sa mga nag-subscribe recently. Thank you so much guys for subscribing and sa walang sawang pag-suporta sa um, vlog ko, sa small, vlog, uh, sa small YouTube channel ko. Thank you, thank you guys and yeah, I hope you have a good one. Bye!